Hello, I'm Miss Lee and I'm the Director of English at ARC Bolton Academy. We're really excited about the prospect of you joining us within the Academy and you're now going to be introduced to everything you need to know about the English faculty. I will start by introducing myself. I'm Miss Lee, the Director of English at ARC Bolton Academy. I have been at Arc Bolton Academy since 2016 and seen it flourish both academically and in terms of the relationships that have been built between students and staff during this time. I will now introduce the rest of the team. We are incredibly lucky within the English faculty to have both vice principals as English specialists. Within lower school, we have Miss Entwistle and within upper school, we have Miss Ahmed. I'm now going to introduce you to the rest of the team. We have Miss Brickley, who is second in charge of English, Miss Carnham, who is our key stage three lead, Miss Fazzle, who works with coaching English teachers, and Mr. Foster, who supports year 10 and 11 with their progress. We also have Miss Sugu, who as well as teaching English, teaches GCSE psychology for both year 10 and year 11. We have Mrs Andrews, who works as an English teacher and also is a writer. She has led the reading program for lower school and regularly shares her work with both staff and students. You will even find some of her books in the library. Mr. Eveson is an English teacher specialising in Key Stage 3. And Miss Javed is an English teacher who also works with students as part of our Fresh Start programme for students who need a little bit of extra help with their reading and their writing when they first join us at the Academy. As you can see, we are a very large team with a range of English teachers. We have Miss Abdul, Miss Akhtar, Miss Brawley, Miss Bailey and Miss Pugh. We love our subject genuinely and passionately. We love that every single day we get to come into school and read and study a vast array of texts with our students across all year groups. All of the texts that we study at Arc Bolton Academy are challenging and are enjoyed by the students. We encourage students to discuss their interpretations of literary pieces and we regularly engage in discussion and debate. We prioritise developing students' independence so that all students can confidently read, analyse a range of texts, as well as being able to produce their own creative writing. We focus on students being able to write descriptively, to be able to write narrative pieces of writing or stories, and to be able to write to persuade and to argue. You will also now see some testimonials from our students explaining why they enjoy English lessons at Arc Bolton.
You will be interested to know how our subject performs. Of course, student outcomes are our priority. We want to ensure that every single pupil who studies English within this academy can go on to university or a high level apprenticeship of their choice so that they can have a successful career and future. You will see from the results on the screen how high our pass rate is at Arc Bolton. Not only is this one of the highest within Birmingham, it is also one of the highest within the entire Arc network. You'll be interested to know how we support our students and what a lesson at Arc Bolton looks like. Every lesson starts with a do now activity, also known as a DNA. This is silent, independent work for five minutes, which usually tests students on their prior knowledge, either from the previous lesson or from a previous unit. Once answers have been shared, and the teacher has confirmed that every single student has improved or corrected their answer, we move on to introducing new vocabulary. We know how important it is to ensure that our students' literacy levels are the best that they can be and that they have a broad vocabulary. So we always start our lessons by introducing a key piece of vocabulary that is relevant to the lesson. We then share the key information that students will be learning within that lesson. These can be used as keynotes so that when students begin their own independent work, they can refer back to the key points and the main focus of the lesson. We will then work together as a class, whether it's reading an extract, reading from a novel, poem or play, or annotating key quotations on the board. Every single lesson we share a model grade nine example with our students so they can see what the exam is expecting of them and what great looks like. After we have deconstructed this what great looks like model together, they will then write their own response using a writing frame or sentence starters to support them. Our curriculum has been designed so that students are approaching a range of different texts in order to improve their critical thinking skills, to challenge their understanding of texts, and to be able to offer various interpretations of different literary pieces. By the end of year 11, students will be sitting AQA English Language and English Literature. As part of their English literature exam, they will be studying a Shakespeare play, we study Macbeth, comparison poetry, a 19th century text, we study Jekyll and Hyde, and a modern text, we study Anne in Spectacles. To ensure that students are prepared by the time that they reach Key Stage 4, Students are exposed to similar texts all the way through Key Stage 3. For example, in Year 7, the very first text that students read is a 19th century text, which will eventually support them with their understanding in Year 11 when they approach Jekyll and Hyde. So in Year 7, they start with Oliver Twist, set in Victorian London. We know 
that home learning is crucial to ensure that students make the best progress possible. Our expectation is that students complete a minimum of one hour of English home learning per week. Each half term, students will be given a homework booklet which contains work for each week within it. That means if a student is absent for one day, they still have access to their homework and it means they can't fall behind. Homework will always be based on their prior knowledge, which will help them to learn more and remember more. Students always write their homework at the back of their English books and this is checked each week by their class teacher and detentions are set as necessary if homework is not complete. We know that we are in a very strange situation in 2020 and that it is important for all students to be able to access learning whether they are able to attend the academy or whether they are at home. This is why we have the Arc Bolton Virtual Academy. The Virtual Academy allows students to access all of the lessons that are taking place in school from their own device at home. You would begin by going to the ARC Bolton website and then clicking on the ARC Bolton Virtual Academy. From that point, as long as students have a school email, they will be able to access all of the lessons taking place, complete with a voiceover from their teacher. I will now show you how the ARC Bolton Academy can support students learning at home. When you first enter the Virtual Academy, you will filter by year group and then choose the subject that you are learning at that time. You will then identify the week in which the lesson is taking place and select the lesson for the day. This will then take you to a PowerPoint and you will see that all of the slides that are being taught in lesson are there. The students can then play the slideshow and as soon as they do, they will hear their teacher speaking. At the end of the lesson, they can complete a quiz which will allow teachers in school to track their understanding and progress. We look forward to meeting you at Arc Bolton Academy.